Having previously selected a number of devices in the Equipment view, we can work within the Functional view to add other devices, function blocks, and logic to complete this application. First, I'll reposition our safety light curtain. And we'll be muting this light curtain, so I'll be adding a muting sensor pair. Also, we'll be anding the e-stop button and gate switch together. Please note, up to five devices can be anded per gate. In this case, we only require two for the e-stop and gate switch. Which I'll connect. Also, we'll require a muting function block for the light curtain which has already been pre-established with all the necessary functionality to meet the requirements of muting. I'll connect our light curtain and muting sensor pair. Also, we'll be latching the gate switch and e-stop, requiring a reset after activation. So we'll connect the devices and the reset button. And we'll be anding all devices together before we connect to the safety output. Please remember to read the instructions and warnings in the product manual and follow the commissioning and periodic checkout procedures for the application. Our checklist is showing us that we've uh, yet to resolve all open issues. In this case, we've yet to add external device monitoring as an input to monitor those external relays. We'll make that connection. And the configuration is valid and can be sent to the controller. In our next tutorial, we will continue working with this simple application and explore in more detail parameter setting options for various system elements.